Here is something I noticed they changed in the 2021 building code books, and that is the vertical rise or the overall distance that you can install a long set of stairs within before adding a landing. And that vertical distance used to be from a floor or a platform, floor or a landing, lower landing to an upper landing, a vertical distance of 12 feet. And I notice now it's 12 feet, seven inches. And I'm not about to suggest that the building code in your area has changed because sometimes it takes a while to update these codes or they might not change if they don't make any sense to your local building authorities. So for those of you who don't need any further explanation about this particular building code, you can stop watching the video. And for those of you who do, let's go ahead and see if I can make a little sense out of this. So what we're going to be focusing on will be the vertical distance between the lower floor of an uninterrupted path of steps for a stairway. So this would be a stairway that would not have any landings in it and would be a continuous run of steps that would have an overall vertical height between floors of less than 12 feet 7 inches. So for example, if I had a stairway with a vertical measurement here of 13 feet, then I'm going to need to install a stairway with a landing, and that landing can be located anywhere within that section of the stairway to where it will not create a overall total rise of more than 12 feet 7 inches. And this is going to apply to every section in between a floor or a landing in a stairway. So here we have a vertical distance of less than 50 inches. And this stairway is not going to be affected by that building code. And here we have a stairway with a vertical rise of less than 12 feet. So this stairway here is not going to be affected. And the stairway won't need to be modified in any way. And the same situation if we went ahead and reversed the stairway to where we had the longer stairway on the bottom. And in our last example, we have a stairway with a vertical distance. If I was to draw a level line across here and then go up vertically so that I could get a measurement between the top of this floor or landing and the top of this floor or landing. And we end up with a vertical distance that is going to be more than 12 feet 7 or whatever our building code books refer to, then we're going to need to install another landing or redesign the stairway to make it the safest we possibly can by even installing an additional landing. And even though I don't know for sure what the reason is for this building code, I think it has something to do with the fact that if somebody was to fall from the top here, that there would be a good chance that they could actually roll down a long section of a stairway that didn't have any landings in between it, providing us with a good reason why we're never going to do something like this if we don't have to, or the fact that multiple landings might provide us with safer stairways.